I just wish they would make something now, but at the same time, they don't know how to treat it. It's been more than a year since Matthew Cardinal caught COVID-19. A month later, after being in the ICU and on a ventilator, he was discharged. But his life has never been the same. Cardinal continues to experience what is known as a long COVID. That's where symptoms persist weeks after initially contracting COVID-19. His recovery continues, but he's done much of it on his own. They just basically put on a note to have the doctor check up on me and follow up with x-rays and make sure I'm getting my meds. There wasn't an order to go to physio. There wasn't an order to go to anything at all. Like there wasn't an offer for mental health supports. There was nothing. It's a common story among those dealing with long COVID, even months after being discharged. The Saskatchewan Health Authority says it has no clue how many people in this province have long COVID. But studies show between 30 and 70 percent of COVID-19 patients could be affected. That means Saskatchewan could have up to 40,000 people facing down long COVID, and it's likely to be many more. Experts say part of the problem in dealing with the disease is how little we know about it. We have to figure out what is the clinical face of this disease, um, what is causing this disease, and then how we can treat it. So unfortunately, treatment comes at the end of that. That's why we're a bit behind, but at the same time, um, we're learning as the patients are coming in. Despite the lack of knowledge, other provinces have established clinics that specifically look to treat long COVID patients. The SHA wouldn't say whether it plans to open similar clinics in the province, only that long COVID is a strategic priority. This year, it plans to integrate treatment for the disease into primary health care and chronic disease management. Alexander Kwan, CBC News, Regina.